shall we this morning magnify the King of all kings to glorify his name. Let us give him praise and glory, exalt him that is not like him. He is worthy to be exalted and worthy to be glorified. Bless his name from the depth of your heart, exalt him because there is none like him, there can never be anyone like him. Blessed be God forever. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have given thanks. The good news is this, today shall mark the end of every wickedness against your life. In the name of Jesus. It is what you expect you encounter. If you expect nothing, you get nothing. Lord, I expect vengeance against anything limiting my destiny. He said, oh God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Lord, show yourself this morning, today, concerning my affairs. Go ahead and speak that word first. Oh God of heaven. Pray God to show himself in your favor. Show yourself this morning. In all my affairs, show yourself. Oh God of vengeance, show yourself in my affairs this morning. Leru se kutale bregedia kantale gezizalo bregedia gara. Ekrekro zizalo bregedia kutale bredi. Show yourself this morning in all my affairs. Open your mouth and speak to God. Show thyself this morning. I desire comfort on every side. It is my desire that I'll be comforted. Blessed be God forever. In Jesus' most wonderful name. He will show himself in our affairs. Lord, speak to us through your word this morning. Let everyone... Connected to this service globally, whether in church or online, all over the world, have an encounter with the Holy Spirit. Amen. That today, the God of vengeance will bring comfort on our every side. Amen. In Jesus' most wonderful name. Amen. Someone expecting all around comfort say, Amen. Give him a big, big hand. And you know, it's a prophetic service just for one minute. We worship, and then you said that you said the hand of the mistress came. The mistress plan, the hand of God came upon Elijah, and he began to speak. A very touch, a very hot song that would move the mad power of the Holy Ghost. See how far you've brought me. Into. That's enough. See how far you brought, me. brought us. Lord.
lift those hands one more time and just magnify him in mighty to be praised. We give you praise. Blessed be God forever. And in Jesus' mighty name, you may be seated. The message this morning is enjoying all around comfort. All around what? Part one. In John 14, 16, it says, And I will pray the Father, that shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. The comforter is the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I'm going to give him to you. It will ensure that you are comfortable on every side. Whatever is bringing discomfort in anyone's life today will mark the end of that in the name of Jesus. He plays a major role in making the saints enjoy a comfortable life. One way he comforts us is through vengeance. Is through what? Many think the role of the Holy Spirit is just conviction of sins. Is beyond that. If you read John chapter 16, 7, 8, and 11, the Bible declares, we all know verse 16, verse 7, chapter 16, verse 7 of John, the Bible said he shall reprove the world of sin and of righteousness. Is that true? Now, I never tell you the truth. It's expedient that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come. But if I depart, he will send him unto you. Verse 8. And they said, and he will, when he's come, he will reprove the word of what? Everybody knows that the Holy Ghost will the word of sin. And of righteousness. We know that one. Everybody talk about his righteousness. But as a part, many people don't read in the Bible. They know that the Holy Ghost can reprove you of sin. They say the righteousness. But many don't look at the last part of his ministry. And of what? He judges. That part, many remove it from their Bible. They don't read it. And in verse 11, look at what he repeated again of that same chapter. He said, of what? Judgment, because the prince of this world is judged. Whatever is against our life that's not making life comfortable, be judged as I'm speaking right now. Amen. If you believe it, say amen. amen. So he has a ministry of vengeance. He has a ministry of what? But hear me, people of God. Talking about the prophecy of Jesus and the Holy Spirit in Isaiah chapter 61. If you read from verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, the Bible declares, He said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the open of prison to them that are bound. This is talking about Jesus. If you want to understand the scripture, take time to read Luke chapter 4, 18 to 20. You see the repeated verbatim. Am I communicating with you, sir? Now, He was talking about the ministry of who? Jesus. And he said, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. This, if you see, there's a command there. That was where the ministry of Jesus ended. If you hear people who don't know the Bible, they say, you see, Jesus never did so. Jesus never preached vengeance. No, he did not call for vengeance. He came to save the world from sin. That was why when they said, they will call fire, he said, don't do it. That's not what I came for. But he went there as a lamb. He never left as a lamb. He left as a lion. Don't mistake this message of Jesus and the message of the Holy Spirit. If it was Jesus, and as I said, I wouldn't have died in the church. Hope you know that. He would have said, forgive them. But when he came to the Holy Ghost, Peter said, are you telling me the truth? They fell down. Jesus' time, that wouldn't have happened because he came to forgive us. Many who are not Bible students, even men of God, or tabloid the Bible upside down. The ministry of Jesus ended in the day, assembly year of the Lord. Look at it. If you read Luke 4, let me read for those who may not be Bible students who are very religious. 18 to 20. Look at verse 20. 18 to 20. Who is in the studio? I don't look. Flow with me. This is 8. Look at it. It's repeated. Look at verse 20 for time's sake. Verse 20. Verse 20. Jesus is Lord. And he closed what? The book. After he said in verse 19, the assembly of the Lord, he closed what? The book. But that was not his ministry. I'll give it to them that sat down. Now, if you come back to Isaiah chapter 61, you read verse 2 now. Isaiah 61 verse 2. He said, to progress the of the Lord and the what? The day of vengeance of our God, which is now. When the day of what? This is the day of vengeance of our God, which is the special of the Holy Spirit. And to comfort all that mourn. So here. I declare and I declare. Every area you have mourned, the Holy Ghost will bring comfort right now. He is the spirit of vengeance. The entire of the Holy Ghost is vengeance. He is the only one that can take vengeance in your favor. If you vengeance is troubling our troublers. That's vengeance. Trouble is what? He said, it shall recompense tribulation to them that trouble us. 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 6. Vengeance is simply troubling what? Our troublers. Everyone that says we will not have peace and comfort, this beginners I'm speaking right now, they will never come out of troubles in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Repentance is the act of silencing our enemies to enjoy all around what? Comfort. It is what makes our redemptive and our redemption come into full manifestation. In Isaiah 35 verse 4, you have to be a bit fast with me. He says, say to them that have a fearful heart, be strong and fear not. So I refuse to fear. He said, behold, your God. Is, he, is God your God? He said, behold, your God will come with what? Who will come? Say it. Don't say God. Who will come? Say it one more time. Who will come? He said, behold, your God will come with what? Even God will recompense. That means it will recompense tribulation to those who trouble us. Is that true? He will come and save us. Three things will happen here. Vengeance and tribulation to those who are worrying us and he will deliver us. Is that true? This day, these three things will fulfill in someone who says amen. amen. He will come speedily with vengeance. And he will stop those who are troubling us. He will rescue everyone in the name of Jesus. Amen. Some reasons why you need vengeance. Because some reasons why you need what? One, to stop the bounds of wickedness. He said, oh Lord, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Psalm 7 verse 9. Nothing silences wickedness like vengeance. Or to stop the wicked, you can't advance. <laughs> you can't, and whatever form of wickedness against us, I decree to stop now in the name of Jesus. He said, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come what? Because if wickedness continue and the whole world lied what? The entire world. Wickedness is everywhere. Today, in the name of Jesus, every form of wickedness is coming to an end to that man who says amen. amen. Why do we need vengeance? To assess our inheritance in Christ. To assess our what? Now, many of us have blessings, but said a great, for a great and effectual is open to him, but there are many adversaries. First Corinthians Chronicles. First Corinthians, or the first Corinthians 16 verse 9. Without vengeance, no way. Adversaries must be stopped for you to advance. If you must advance, adversaries must be what? Stop. He said, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Second Corinthians 10 verse 4. But mind to through God to the pulling down of strongholds. It is only when you execute vengeance that your inheritance can be released. No warfare, no welfare. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Are you hearing me? In thick English, we make this church grow. You know, this place was the headquarters of wickedness. When we got here, they said we should not do church. My wife can tell you the story. We did all night with few people. Nobody knew. No, not like noise. Yet they picked in the spirit realm. You know, evil men don't, don't take the physical. They pick the spirit realm that some people have come. They sent me physical message. I'm not talking about uh, dream. And to me, that look, nobody disturbs in Jerry Portacot. Physical message. I'm not talking about dream that you slept and woke up. A young man walked to me and said, Sir, some people sent me to you and said that nobody disturbs in Jerry. That was the exact language you used. The all night was done within the room where the neighbor would not hear you. So, but they picked it in the spirit realm. That somebody strange has come. So me too, I woke up in midnight. I said, every devil hear me by 2 a.m. I will never forget. My voice will go, wow. You know, midnight, if you shout, the neighborhood will hear you. I said, every devil hear me. He sent me here. Whoever sent that message. As I prayed that prayer the following day, their leader died. The son is a member of this church now. He was the head of the occult that sent that message. The boy, is, when they greet me, I will remember his father. He doesn't know that the father died because of us. I said, where well, did that? He, the man died. He said, that's their leader. That's the leader who we'll sent you that message. They left us alone. I don't know who is tormenting your life and my life. Before this time, tomorrow, they are dead. I'm speaking to someone in the name of Jesus. Why? Vengeance. Number three, for a change of position. For a change of what? Position. Your position will never change without vengeance. If vengeance is not executed. Advancement and progress are forces of vengeance. Look at the man Daniel in Daniel chapter 6, 20 to 28. He was accused falsely. He was accused what? And they turned to a lion's den. You all know the story. For times so we will not read all that. But in verse 24, something happened. And the king commanded that they brought those men which have accused Daniel. Did you hear that? We have what? 
And Satan's work is the, is the headquarters of accusation. Is that true? Who accuse the brain? Accuse them. Those men will have accused them and they cast them to the den of lions, them, their children, and their wives. And the lions had the master of them and break all their bones in what? Or ever they came to the bottom of the den. I decree. Everyone who has given first accusation against our lives, we have vowed to say, no, this man must go down. This one must go down. And the reach of my voice genuinely, I decree the poor accusers will go down now. The pig, the dog, they will fall into it. Say, so everyone, after my life, this same moment goes down. Through 30 seconds arrows, everyone who are planning evil, accuse me falsely. Go ahead in the name of Jesus, I decree. In the name of Jesus. Do you know after that, Daniel was promoted? Daniel was what? You may see that. Daniel was what? I decree after this venture service, someone's promotion is coming who says amen. amen. Why vengeance number four? To validate our freedom. To validate what? Vengeance is the guarantee hallmark of total liberty. Your glorious liberty will never be established without vengeance. <laughs> Israel, God told them they would spend only 400 years when the prophecy was given to Abraham, but they stayed for 30 years. How many years? Extra 30 years because of the wickedness of Pharaoh and his demonic forces. In Exodus chapter 11, verse 1, the Bible declares, And the Lord said unto Moses, Yet will I bring one plague more upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. Afterwards, he will let you go hence. When he shall let you go, he shall surely trust you out hence. He said, go, 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 go. Every evil holding down anyone, I decree speedily they will let you go. Amen. Shout a believing amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. There was cry in every house of Egypt. Now, you know why? <laughs> Pharaoh was so arrogant. Was so what? On the vengeance. There are some people who are so arrogant that they boast in their wickedness. They will tell you what nonsense. Let me see that God that will rescue you. Today, every agent of the devil boasting in their resources and their position, I decree them to crumble as I'm talking right now. Until God shows up, the enemy will never give up. The enemy can be human, can be sickness, can be poverty. Some of you, your poverty is not physical. You pay tight, you do everything, but someone has sat on your destiny and has told you, I don't care what you do. If a man is after your life, no devil can, are you going to have now? The devil will just be molesting the person's life. Today, whoever is being sat upon, that blessing belongs to you that the enemy sat upon it will be destroyed right now that it will be destroyed. Amen. You will receive your blessings and if you say amen, you have it. Shout a better amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. <laughs> something will happen today. Amen. And then something will happen today. Amen. By the leading on the spot. In Exodus chapter 4, verse 22 and 23, this on the spot leading. Exodus 4, 22 and 23 said, And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, To see the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. We are by covenant, New Testament Israel. Is that true? Are you getting up to now? It's not just a Jew, according to Romans. That's outward. But a Jew, that's, we are the true Israelites. Is that true, sir? And I saw to thee, let my son go. <laughs> that he may serve. Many people in this church serve God. This is a church where people serve God. Is that true? And if he die, he refuse to let him go. Behold, I will slay thy son, even thy first son. And God did it. You all, you all know the story. Today, everyone serving God that people have vowed to torment they will have a cry in their families. Amen. Say with me, God of vengeance, show thyself. Everyone tormenting my life, everyone that will not let me go, they go down now. Slay the forces behind the wickedness against my destiny. Now listen, God did not judge only for he judged the Gods of Egypt, you do your Bible. God, 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 what? All the demonic invocations against you and I will be judged with thunder from heaven. 
If you believe it, say amen like a believer. Amen. The witch doctor behind that evil will die this morning. This night, that witch doctor will die. Amen. This night, that occultic man will die. Amen. Everyone after our life will go down. Amen. If you believe that your liberty is established, let your amen be the loudest. Amen. Let me say this to you. Except you stop wickedness, you can't advance. There are people who must be cleared for you to move forward. As long as they sit on the throne, your destiny is not secured. Until King Uzziah died, Isaiah could not see. There are some King Uzziahs that must die. For you to see what God has for you. Today, those who don't want to allow you to see what God has for you, they will sink down now. How the Holy Spirit executes vengeance. How does he do it? Glory to God. I'm sure this is not what you're expecting. You know, this church will give very fantastic caption. So we we'll deal with him. Comfort. This is how you enjoy comfort. Look at this church now. Are we comfortable? Oh, you do, you do, you don't, before we came here, the gang up here was heavy. That the neighborhood here gang up, not all of them. Few of them came together and said, This church must not be here. They were going from house to house for people to sign document that church should not be in this part of Port Harcourt River State. They were, that is, they were taking, <laughs> they were taking it and say, You're a landlord, sign here that this church should leave. They were going from house to house. Some refused to sign, some signed. <laughs> then God rose up. The three leaders, one was a military officer. The military officer was transferred to a place that the person would never rise. Because the position, the person felt like the person was too much powerful. As we prayed that prayer, the following week they transferred the person farm to a destination that nobody can ever remember the person. Did that one, the owner of the house said the person must pack out. The three of them who led the team, all of them left the following week with one problem. Or the other. And the funny thing, who came to there to become who took their houses became members. That's how this church entered the rest. True? You think to be half rest is just Jesus is coming, so you don't get this ladder. Don't get this ladder. Don't do that kind of send it to you. <laughs> In this wicked world, this wicked world. How the Holy Spirit, what? Is revenge. A, through our faith. Through what? Our faith. Believe in the finality of God's word. Luke 18, verse 8. I tell you that he will avenge their spirit. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on the earth? When God's word comes, don't say, will it happen? Will it not happen? Luke 18, 8. Don't say, God, this thing will it happen? Don't die! Don't what? If God will slay the first son of Pharaoh, don't say, God, well, well, die! Don't doubt God's word. If you want to doubt, doubt yourself, not God's word. Believe that today something must happen. I know a man of God. Is they say that you go young way now? <laughs> today, not today. Say that you go young way now. <laughs> Believe in the word, finality of God's word that it must not come. It must come to pass. Don't doubt. You know, some of you will say this will it happen. It will happen. It's not your business. Just stand on the integrity of the word of God. If God says we slay, He will slay. He said, "I will give vengeance; He will execute." In, Luke, in Mark eleven twenty four, therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive that you shall what? Have Tap your name and say, don't doubt. Don't doubt. Refuse to doubt. Refuse to doubt. B, how do you? Let's go, how do through our heartfelt prayers. Through our what? A close mouth will bring a close destiny. Pray heavily. It's an shall be given. Seek your father, shall be what? Open unto you. He that asks it, respect that knocking shall be what? Matthew 7, 7, and 8. For vengeance was executed in your favor, you must ask in what? Prayers. In Luke 18, 5 to 8. You see, you see it. Pray with intense seriousness and persistence. Heartfelt prayer. Oh God of heaven. Vengeance must answer now. Luke 18. She has not avenged. It's only elect. Luke 18, 5 to 8. I tell you that he will avenge them what? No, 5 to 8. 
Yet, because this widow troubled me, I will adventure. Let's by heart continue coming. She will me. Verse 6. And I said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. And shall not God avenge his own elect? Verse 7. Who cry what? Unto him, though he bear with them. He said, Will you not have? Just pray intensely. Oh God, when the time comes. Are you hearing me now? Oh God, avenge me of my adversaries. Stop the wicked that rise up against me. This sickness must come to an end in my life. This thing making me not advance in life must end today. Whatever is stopping my fruitfulness today, I curse it from his root. Whatever is making my children not to be promoted, I curse in the name of Jesus. Are you getting what I'm talking about? It's not what you're saying. No, you react. This sickness must end now. Whatever is stopping me from getting married, I take vengeance against it. Are you hearing me, sir? Glory to God. Don't think it's only women, who, even there are men who we are supposed to marry. Satan has sat on their destiny. I've not seen houses where no man is married. You think it was only women? No man. Because of poverty. They are not married. Parking to a man's house is not marriage. Nobody pay daddy for your head. Nobody do. For what kind of marriage with that? Because of poverty, they just uh, enter house, bump again. No, no. You said today that must end. See. Through bold declaration. Through what? You know the story of <laughs> David and Goliath. How many of you know the story of David and Goliath? David finished Goliath from where? His mouth. In First Samuel chapter 17. We have the only 45. When you get home, you can read other verses. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of what? He said, Whom thou hast defied. And he went for and said, This day the Lord shall give me your circumcised, your head. Did he say so? He finished him with his mouth. And everything David said, God confirmed. So when you want to see vengeance, make sure you declare boldly. Until you declare boldly, you cannot get victory openly. And now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, <laughs> They perceived as for 13 that they were unlearned and ignorant men. They marveled and they took knowledge of them. They have been with Jesus. He said, Open your mouth wide. Look to the 115, and I will fill it. Open your mouth wide. The Holy Spirit is waiting for you to, to declare boldly so you can act on your behalf. If that shall say to this mountain, Mark 11 to 3, if that shall what? You shall have whatsoever what? You said. You cannot have what you have not said. What you don't declare, God cannot confirm. A closed mouth will end up a public failure. Most of us are too gentle. He said, open the mouth. But my people are too civilized. Don't see the way I talk. That devil has not been born. God said, hey, who is the devil? I want to order my son. I kill you. I don't know what they're going to go to. God said, open your mouth. Why? He said, cry to him. So whatever you bind on earth, what? Matthew 18, 18. Glory to God. It says my duty to invoke vengeance. And D, engaging in vengeance praise. Engaging in what? Vengeance praise. Psalm 149, 6 to 9. Let the high praise of God be in their mouth and the two air sword in their hand. This is one of my greatest secrets. To execute vengeance upon the hidden and punishments upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. To execute upon the judgment written, this one of all the saints, praise the Lord. You stand up, you, you dance. That kind of praise is not the one you do like this. You spin. You say, God, take vengeance. You jump. You dance like as if nobody is there. Then God says, okay, I kill whoever wants to disturb you. So I hear. Are you ready? We are going to pray before the anointing. Is that through? Rise to your feet. You are going to pray now to invoke God's vengeance upon any evil person. Upon what? That has attacked you, your loved ones, and all that concerns you. Decree that judgment and destruction to manifest immediately. He said, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come what? Psalm 7 verse 9. And as I for 3 verse 4, since that was present in my sight, that has been honorable and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and pay for their life. 
Lord, I invoke, you can see the prayer points on the screen. Are you getting up now? Let the wrath of God come upon all evil persons that have tormented my life or intend to torment, even the ones who intend to torment your life. Folk, you can write the prayer point. You turn the prayer point to suit your purpose. Are you getting up now? Lord, those who have tormented my life today, not tomorrow, judge them now. Are you ready? Go ahead with the Holy Anger and pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name in first Corinthians 16 verse 9 he said for a great and effectual is not to me but there are many what and Isaiah 60 verse 11 he said therefore thy gate shall be open continually shall not be short day nor night that men may bring unto thee the force of what the Gentiles and their kings that force of Gentiles means the wealth that word force means the what wealth of sinners you are going to command any gate or door shut against you Deny you access to your inheritance to be what? Open. Declare undeniable access to your inheritance. Whatever God has blessed me with that I've never had access. Now I declare that to be what? Open. By these vengeance prayers, I command that I may again access to them. Go ahead and pray for the seven name of Jesus. Jesus, mighty name. Take the oil in your hands. And you know why you'll be coming for. So I think is this Sunday or announced or Thursday? You wait for Sunday so you don't have oil. That's your own business. I told Pastor Samson, I said, announce. I was leading by the Holy Spirit. Now listen. So if you don't have oil, don't blame anybody. Except you're coming for the first time. You don't join service, not to just to your house. Okay. Now, in Psalm 105 and verse 13, it says they went from one nation to another. From one kingdom to another, he allowed no man to do wrong. 
He reproved Christ for that. He said, touch not my anointed. Do my prophet no harm. You are God's anointed. After today, everyone genuinely connected to this message as a child of God, we are touched not to every evil. Yeah. Say so me by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I'm touched not to every evil. In the name of Jesus. That's a 105, 13 to 15. In Zechariah chapter 2, verse 8, it says, shall be unto her a wall of fire, verse 5. And see that touch it, touch it, the apple of what? His eyes. I decree the name of Jesus, everyone that dare to touch any of us, I decree God to strike them dead. Yeah. In Psalm 89, 20 to 23, he said, I found David, my servant, with my holy oil, have I anointed him. I'm going to break it here, Kata. With whom? My hand shall be established. My arm also shall shut him. He said, the enemy shall not desert upon none. The soul of wickedness will afflict him. That word afflict means trouble. From today, no son of wickedness will afflict any of us. No wicked person, man or woman, will afflict any of us. He said, I'll beat down his force before his face. And I'll plague them that hate him. People have said, I hate, they hate me. And all of a sudden, they have plague that they cannot understand. Now I decree... Whoever has vowed that they hate us, they'll be plagued right now. Amen. With an incredible plague in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will beat them down in the name of Jesus. Amen. If they are sitting on any office, I command them before this and next week, they will die, see they will vacate. Amen. Somebody will take that seat that they are using to torment your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anyone has vowed to torment any of us, Except God is not the one who wrote the Bible. I decree in seven days they will leave the office. Amen. If you believe in seven like a believer. Amen. In that your workplace, that man that has vowed to torment you in the office will be sacked this time. Amen. The louder your amen you have it done. Amen. In Psalm 92, 10 to 14. Psalm 92, 10 to 14 said, But my horn shall not be like a horn of unicorn. I shall be anointed what? Fresh oil. My eyes shall also see my desire of my enemies. What is your desire? You will say it in the next few minutes. And my ears shall hear the desire of the wicked that has against me. Whatever you and I desire, we declare after now, will happen as I have to say it. <laughs> after wickedness has been stopped, he said, There shall the light of flow like a palm tree, they shall grow like a seed of Lebanon. They shall still bring forth fruit, what? Verse 13 and to 14. Be fast now. They shall still bring forth for good in old age. Now, verse 13, he jumped 13. So. Those that fly in the house of the Lord shall fly like a cause of my God. They shall still bring food in old age. They shall be fat and nobody amongst us will ever express what the world is expressing. Yeah. We shall be exempted. Yeah. Now, finally, in Second Chronicles 22, verse 7, Maru <laughs> Brigitia Katali, he said, The destruction of Ahaziah was of God by coming to Juram. For when he was come, he went out with Jehoram against Jehu, the son of Nimshi, whom the Lord has anointed the court of the house of what? The house of Ahab is the house of wickedness. I used this scripture long ago, and the young man who came to threaten me did not survive it. Every house of wickedness arrayed against us in the name of Jesus will be cut off now. <laughs> Wherever there are kind of world meetings against our lives, my life and your life, judgment will strike in the camp now. <laughs> If you believe it, say amen like a believer. Amen. You, are going to, you, say, you are going to pray, God of vengeance over to you. I call on you today. I invoke vengeance. Lord God of over to fight my battles. As this oil touches my head, everyone pronounce will be in my favor but against my enemies. Are you ready to pray that prayer? As I'm anointed today, the word spoke will be in my favor, but against my... And you begin to declare your desire. The things you want to see against your enemies. You are the one who say to, this sickness must end now. An enemy must not only people. Are you going to now? That thing making you not to go forward, that make people not to marry you must end today. Are you ready? Take a little of your finger pick. It's in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are the spirit of comfort. You are upon this oil. Now, as I'm anointed, may your ministry of comfort Come in my favor. But all the forces against my life, fight them. Now, anoint yourself and begin to pray for yourself in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God of vengeance, show yourself.
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, whatever you have opened your mouth to declare, in line with God's word, is fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Now hear me. <laughs> we take two minutes to praise God. It's a double fold. Two minutes because time is already up. We are going to praise God. Vengeance praise. Vengeance what? Lord, let as I praise you say, there is the good vengeance upon the what? This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. All churches, two minutes. Sharp and short. This vengeance prayer to praise the God. Go and fight. 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 Fight my battles. Are you ready? Go ahead, all churches. Immortal God. Invisible God. Immortal God. Oh Lord, our great Has taken over our battles. He will execute judgment in the camp of our enemies. If you believe it, your ladder, amen, you have it. Shout the biggest hallelujah of your life. Shout the Jericho falling hallelujah. Serve me by this praise. God of vengeance over 
out to you in 30 seconds begin to declare in the name of jesus by this president god of vengeance over to you fight our battles as a child fight our battles fight for salvation places fight our battles clear the way clear the way fight our battles oh god of vengeance fight my battles thank you father in jesus mighty name it is done if you are not born again god cannot fight for you until you're a child of god maybe you are born again too somehow you backslided rededicate your life you are born again, but somehow you went back to some places you are not supposed to enter. Now they dedicate your life. Wherever you are, don't play pranks with God. He is God. He knows everyone. It's better you dedicate your life so he can fight for you properly than try to say, God, no, no, no. This is the best time to be born again. Wherever you are, you have not accepted Jesus. Offer these prayers after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I've come to you I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose to save me. With my mouth, I declare you my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, for saving me in Jesus' mighty name. If you offer that prayer, keep standing while others take their seats. Please, everyone standing, they will attend to you. Don't sit down, they will attend, they will give you permission. Always take their details. Don't ever just give them paper and don't take it back.